Hi there, my name's Jamie. Uh, this is my first time filming for YouTube, so thank you for tuning in. I will try not to be super awkward as I get used to talking to a camera in a room alone. I want to just introduce myself a little bit. I'm 30 years old. I really love makeup. I got into makeup a few years ago, went down the rabbit hole of <laughs> watching beauty YouTubers, uh, Tati, Jessica Braun, Laura Lee, Ali Glein, Rach Loves. Love watching their videos, love just seeing people try out different makeup, seeing how they put it on, and I really just love playing around with it myself. So when I started this journey of trying to clean everything up a little bit, I was really bummed about having to get rid of a lot of the makeup that I love. And by get rid of doesn't mean I threw it all away, it just means that I've started to slowly purchase uh, clean beauty items that are going to be better for my body and hormone health down the road. So a little bit of background into what prompted all of that. My husband and I started trying to have a baby uh, in December last year and I had an ectopic pregnancy, had to have emergency surgery. Um, I know we've gotten really deep and it's only been a couple of minutes, but just wanna let you know why this is important to me. So really started looking into how I could improve my fertility so when we were able to start trying again, I could give myself the best possible chance, um, especially now only having one fallopian tube. I read some books, I started following a bunch of Instagrammers that talk about hormone health and eating clean, an anti-inflammatory diet, but really learned that a lot of the products that we use in day-to-day -day life really impact our hormones. While I didn't want to dump everything out, you know, cleaning products, food, makeup, skincare, didn't want to dump it all out, but I wanted to start to purchase cleaner items. So if you'd like to see more of the products that I, I am using, what I think of them, follow me on Instagram as well. Keep following me here because I'll dive deeper into what the products are like because that's a huge part of, of why I wanted to do a YouTube channel. I love the makeup. I want it to work right. I want it to work the way that the normal makeup that I would I would pick would work. And so I want to be able to provide to you the, the information on how, how these products work because why wear them <laughs> if they don't look good? You might as well just not wear makeup then. The look I have on today, um, I'd say 90% of the products I've used are clean um, or cleaner. So I start with the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus perfecting and smoothing. It's got this EWG sticker right on it. I use the EWG Healthy Living app. Um, that's one of the ways that I try to find clean products. It will tell you what the clean products are. It gives them a rating. So there's the EWG Verified, one and two are good, and then three and four, five, not so good, and then it gets worse from there. I try to stay in the one to two area. Sometimes if I have a product that's like a three to four, I'm gonna keep using it until it's up and then try to find something better. If I can't find the product, I have a couple of other apps, um, Think Dirty and Good Face. I use all three of them, even if the product is on EWG, just because they all give slightly different ratings. And so I like to kind of compare all three, make the decision. But why it's important to, you know, look on those apps or look at the ingredients as opposed to just going to, say, uh, Sephora Ulta's clean beauty section. Not all the products in there are clean, and I, I'm happy to do another video on maybe some of those products that are hiding in there that aren't so clean that I probably wouldn't buy. Leave a comment and like if you want to see a video on, on those products. I really like this primer. Um, I've got a weird nose, I guess the texture of it or the uh, oil. I've, I'm combination skin for sure and I live in Arizona so it's probably dehydrated skin as well. Uh, it's very dry here. This uh, primer actually really works well on my nose. So if your nose is a trouble area for you as well, highly recommend giving this a try. I went through a time there where I just would not put foundation on my nose. I would just put a little bit of concealer and just pretend that it looked okay because the texture would break up and look gross. Um, but this does not do that. So highly recommend this. The tinted moisturizer that I use is the Honest Beauty CCC <laughs> Clean Corrective with vitamin C. It's a tinted moisturizer with SPF of 30. And this is a really lightweight tinted moisturizer, but I like my skin to look like skin. I don't love full coverage. It usually doesn't sit well on my skin. It usually breaks up. 
Um, so I prefer to go with something that's gonna look a little bit more like skin. So you can still see some of my blemishes, but it kind of evens it out. I am combination skin. It is very glowy. So if you're super oily, you might not love it, but with a little bit of powder, it does matte down and it stays really well. It doesn't slide around or anything like that, but you'd probably really love this if you are dry skin or combination. The blush that I use is the Honest Beauty Peony Pink Cream Cheek Blush. This is a little bit scary when you first put it, but it diffuses a bit as you put your bronzer on and I, I put some powder over the top just to kind of tone it down a bit, but it stays really nicely all day. I think it's a really pretty color. It doesn't lift up the foundation or anything. This bronzer, I was a die-hard butter bronzer fan. Like that was all I used. I'd buy like five at a time when they were on sale so that I could be stocked up so that when I inevitably went through it, I would have a backup. So that was hard to give up, but that one is not clean. Uh, the biggest culprit in there is fragrance. I'm really sensitive to fragrance, so if I can't even burn a candle without getting a migraine, then I probably shouldn't be putting fragrance on my skin. This is the Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. I prefer ones like this that are a bit softer so that you can build up the color and diffuse it nicely so that it's not like a streak on your cheek. This one's really great for like a soft diffuse look. The powder that I use is also Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro performance wear powder foundation in light natural instead of like a translucent powder people are using powder foundations so i thought i'd i'd find one that was cleaner so that i could see how it worked for setting my makeup and i actually really love this with my cc cream being a little more on the lighter end of coverage i love that this adds just a little bit more coverage so on my forehead on my nose i put it on my chin and then under my eyes it just kind of evens everything out just a little bit more if you're gonna be using powder anyway, why not use something with a little bit more coverage just to make everything look a bit more seamless. Concealer, I use Nude Sticks Cream Concealer in the shade Nude 3. This is a really nice one. This I would also say is more medium coverage. It doesn't make my eyes look creepy. I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and I think that's due to uh, dehydrated skin and just dehydration in general. I live in the desert and I am not good at drinking water. So uh, things that I'm working on, <laughs> that's definitely on the list. But I like to find products that aren't going to sink into those fine lines too badly and won't make them look crepey. So I need something um, that's more moisturizing. So that's definitely this. I think it covers the dark circles pretty nicely. I just use a little bit on the inner corner and outer corner and on my lid to just kind of even everything out. And then with my powder on top, it looks really nice. The eyeshadow palette I used is this Milani Gilded Nude. This particular palette is not in any of the apps. And so this one in particular, when I was in the store, it looked beautiful. I think this is Antelope Canyon on the packaging. Looking at the ingredients, this is a talc-free palette and I looked at some of the other Milani ones and some of the newer ones that were in the app were rated as like a number two. So this is where I like I take that risk and I'm like you know from the ingredients that I recognize talc being the the main one and so gave this one a try. I used the shades Weekender and People Watching all over the lid and I put Me Time in the crease and deepened up the outer corner with Boozy Brunch. I also brought that deeper into the crease as well and then used add to cart to deepen up the outer edge as well used this metallic shade keep scrolling on the lid overall happy with the look it's definitely more of a warm toned look which i really like for the fall time i would wear this to work for eyebrows I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this one is rated a two. So, you know, not the cleanest products, not the worst. I, I've just never found anything that I like quite as much as the Anastasia. So I, I just go with that because I know it's the color that I like and the consistency that I like as well. I'm able to get softer lines on the inner corners of my brows. I know people say that brows are what sisters, not twins. Mine are like next door neighbors. They don't look anything alike no matter what I try to do. I probably need to go get them shaped. I am just cheap. So I just try to make do with a uh, brow pencil and gel and try to just get away with it. Mascara, this is a new one to me. It's the e.l.f. Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. This brush is massive um, and I don't hate it. I do hate 
how much comes off on the end. I know you're supposed to like wipe that on a tissue, but then you're just wasting product. So I just put it back in the tube. I have difficulty with non-waterproof mascara. Unfortunately, waterproof mascara is not very clean, typically. I will have to say that this is the first non-waterproof mascara that did not make my eyelashes droop. So I have stick straight lashes. Like it's, they're so bad and they've gotten a lot longer cause I'm not curling them every day. I'm still working from home. So I don't put on makeup every day. So they just fall even more now with, with a regular mascara. It's a very light formula. I think it's probably a really dry formula too. Um, that's probably why it works well, but it, I was still able to get a lot of length and volume. It's clumpy in a weird way. It's like almost dusty. <laughs> That's not accurate, but it's not like the big clumps, like it's not making my lashes stick together or like big gloopy clumps. There's just like some fluffy, dusty clumps on the ends, if that makes sense. But I still think it looks really nice and I'm just happy that they stayed curled. And I finished off with this lip gloss from Say. I don't know if that's how you say it. Say, if you say it, I don't, I should probably Google it. Um, if you know how to say it, let me know. <laughs> but this is their really great gloss in the color Fresh. I would agree with that. I think it's really nice. It's um, a thick gloss, but it doesn't like stick together. And it's actually, I feel like the color is lasting really well. So it's, it is a peachy nude color. It's sheer. I really like the applicator. I don't know how to do this yet. We'll figure it out together. It's really pointy and the doe foot, when you put it on your lips, it feels like it has a hole in it, like a bubble wand. I don't think it does. I think it's just indented so it can hold the product, but I really like it. It layers nicely. So you're able to like build up some of that color. I bet it would look really nice over a lipstick too. This is just on my bare lips. And so I think it gives a nice color in itself, but yeah, that is, that's my full, face this is the final look i don't really know how to end this video if you're still with me thank you so much um this was probably a painful <laughs> first video to watch uh, i will i'm hoping i'll look back and laugh one day um so if you're laughing now i will hopefully be there with you i'll probably be laughing as i'm editing too but please like and subscribe share this with anyone that you know who may be interested in learning about clean beauty products. Um, 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 uh, uh, um, my view on it is we can't be perfect. It's not possible. Um, so in, in all areas, whether it be makeup, skincare, cleaning products, food that you're putting in your body, um, exercising. Like I just want to be a little bit better where I can, not perfect. So if that is something that resonates with you, I would really love it if you would follow along.